this video, we will show how to create a mailing address label using Microsoft Word. First, open Microsoft Word, type in the text that you want in your label. In our case, we're going to put our company name and our PO box address. Then we will proceed to click on mailing and select labels. This screen will show up with options for the labels and it will also contain the text that we already entered on the first page. Go ahead and click on options. Under label vendors, select the every US letter labels. Once you do so, it will give you a list of different label types that they have. If you have a laser printer, you want to select the label 5260. This text in here might change. Uh, how, however, the code 5260 will be always the same. If you have an inkjet printer, you want to use the label 8160 instead. Uh, in our case, again, we have a laser printer, so we want to use 5260. So we go ahead and select that label, type, and click on OK. Once we have selected the options in here, we can select if we want to print a full page or single label. In most cases, you have, want to print a full page. The label that we selected, the 5260, is a full page of labels that once you do new document, it will show you how it will look. This is how the page comes from that label. A few things for formatting in this um, case is that you can see all the text is centered to the left and also to the top of the label. We might also want to change a little bit the font size because our first line where our company name is located is not fitting in one line, it's taking two lines. So to do this, we can either select everything manually, you can press the keys Control A, or you also can click on this icon right here. This will select the table. We will suggest to use this option because it will allow us to change the font and it will also change, allow us to change the table design. So first we will change the size we also want to change the font. In our case, we want to use Arial. And then we want to use a font either type 10 or 11, depending on how much text we have. Here, we want to center everything to the middle, horizontally and vertically. To do so, go ahead and click on Layout and select the button in the middle that says Align Center. Once you do, you can click away and you will see how the text will fit in the label. These lines are only to indicate the label size. Don't worry, if you print this, no lines will be printed. There are a lot of more options that you can use once you generate the labels where you can create images and so on, but that's a little bit too involved for this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you.